day one of the NJCAA D3 National Outdoor Track and Field Championships in Westfield, Massachusetts was cold, wet, and rainy. But the lousy weather didn't seem to bother the MC Raptors much as they got things off to a great start. There were just a handful of finals in day one, but MC made their mark. In men's long jump, Mike Scott battled a wet track to finish second in the nation with a jump of 6.75 meters. His teammate, Zachary Richardson Jackson, joined him in the top eight, finishing seventh. In women's long jump, both Brianna Rhodes and Chenille Thomas made the finals, and Rhodes came in second in the country with a jump of 5.09, just missing first. Thomas finished eighth. In men's hammer, Devontae Johnson surprised the field by finishing sixth with a throw of 32.55 meters. Johnson rarely throws hammer, so this was a pleasant surprise. And speaking of someone who rarely competes in an event, Brianna Rhodes, who had only thrown the javelin twice in competition before nationals, finished sixth in the country with a throw of 28.27 meters. The rest of the day was devoted to preliminary heats to narrow the field for a host of finals on day two. And MC qualified for a boatload of them. The men's four by 100 meter relay team had the best time of the day and will be the top seed in tomorrow's final. The women's four by 100 relay team posted the fourth best time of the day in making their final. Lud Blair and Brett Evans roared into tomorrow's 100 meter final as they qualified 1-2. Evans and Blair also both qualified in the top five for tomorrow's 200 meter final. Brianna Rhodes won her heat with a time of 12.80 and also qualified for the women's 100 meter final. And in the hurdles, Sam Posnuski ran a strong time of 57.54 and qualified fifth overall for the finals in the grueling 400 meter men's hurdles. And in the women's hurdles, in the 100, Chenille Thomas ran a 15.92 to qualify third overall for tomorrow's final in that event. She also qualified fourth overall in the 400 meter hurdles with a time of 110.72. So a strong showing in the prelims by the Raptors today should bode well in tomorrow's final. For the Raptor Report, I'm Michael Brown.